I told Lauren she has to kiss me today or else it's homophobic. I'm so scared to accidentally bring home something that's cursed, like this. Just got this in the mail today and I haven't even opened it. I got samples of new merch. <laughs> Welcome back to the vlog. Starting off the vlog strong today. One, uh, with Hippo content because I'm in Kelsey's backyard and Hippo is like 10 feet away from me and I'm so excited for him to say hello to the vlog again. The last vlog had some incredible Hippo and Moose becoming besties content. If you haven't seen that already, it is absolutely worth a watch if you are interested in having a shit ton of dopamine and serotonin thrown in your face. Highly recommend. I'm so excited because it is baby's first pride. I've never been to the pride parade in LA after living here for like six years or so. So Kelsey, my bestest bisexual queen, is taking me to my first pride today. I'm so excited. Um, it is hot as balls. Um, and I am wearing a very plasticky corset, which I think is going to be a uh, very hot, sweaty mess in about 30 minutes, but worth it because it is so fucking cute. It's very much serving Lisa Frank. Here's a better view. It's so cute, but again, very plasticky. You could just fully squeak with this thing because it is so plasticky, but it is so cute. And again, I feel like it's just giving the most like Lisa Frank vibes ever. Big fan. Also, it's really squishing my boobs together, which is not the worst thing that I've ever seen for my boobs. It's already pretty nice. This was pretty last minute, so everything I was able to get from Amazon that was delivered in two days. I will link both the corset and the skirt in the description. Um, but it's fine! Ah, I'm so excited! We might be able to like finesse ourselves onto a float. We shall see. TBD. I'm not gonna bring the vlog camera, but I will just be vlogging on my phone. Um, because I just feel like anything cumbersome, it's super hot. I think there's gonna be a lot of people. I don't know the situation, but... I'm excited. Okay, let's go say hi to Hippo. Hippo has his little pride bandana on. He's got some little pride sockies. Mr. Hippo, hello. Snoot Cam, Snoot Cam. Hi, Hippy. We've got our pride bandana on. Hippo, can I see your sockies? Can I see your little sockies? Yeah. Who got the rainbow sockies? Who got the rainbow sockies? Oh, there's a big yawn. There was a very good yawn. So Hippo just had his eye surgery. You can see some of his little boost stitches. And he also just got his little nudies chopped off. And so he got neutered. He did the baby. And also most importantly, I think Kelsey's getting closer and closer to this being a foster fail. So TVD on that news. But this is that's the baby. It's a pride baby. I told Lauren she has to kiss me today or else it's homophobic. I'm not it's homophobic. <laughs> also, oh my god, this outfit. Wow. Oh my god. We got the green hair, we got the makeup. Stop it. Wow. Queen. Our bisexual queen. Uh, did you get your outfit? What? Did you get your outfit? Yeah, you got your outfit. Yeah, yeah, you got that. You got hippo's outfit. You got the, the hippo's outfit. Yeah. Yeah, hippie. Okay, I'm a I'm a non-binary baby. Hippo decided that he is non-binary. Yeah. Oh, the big yawn. Wow. Yeah, yeah. It's exhausting being That's a hippo. Exhausting. It's exhausting being a hippo. My life is tight tight. Oh, thank you for the meaty paws. Yes. Yeah. It's just a roast beef. Yes. Thank you so much. Ah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. days later um today mia and i are going thrifting i've got one spot that i really like that usually has some pretty good um like oversized tees etc and then mia is in the process of redoing her apartment slash bedroom so she is looking for a bunch of vintage frames and i've also got some new shelves going up in the podcast room um in the next couple weeks or so so i'm hoping to find um maybe some frames or like glassware or like unique 
vintagey pieces. I don't have anything in particular that I'm looking for, but I am excited to grab some hopefully new, just like oversized vintage shirts today. Um, this is totally unrelated, but I do have a new Squishmallow. It's just sitting here looking at me, so I feel like I should mention. There's this app called Squish Alert that uh, someone in the Discord recommended. Bitch, if there's ever been a Squishmallow that you've been looking for, especially one that's rare or really popular, you need to get Squish Alert because it'll tell you when Squishmallows become available to buy online. So anyways, say hello to Lamb Mush. I'm very excited, oh my God. Jeremy does not know yet and we are gonna keep, I think that if I just keep quietly adding more, I don't think he'll notice, so. Love that for me. Um, Pride was so incredible. Oh my God, our bisexual queen Kelsey uh, brought me to my first Pride. We also met up with her two friends from the UK and we had such an amazing time. I felt so accepted as an ally and was so excited to just be there to support the LGBTQIA plus community. It was literally just like the most safe feeling, wholesome, celebration that people felt so proud to be a part of. Um, I talked about this in the podcast and also did like a little recap or whatever on Instagram. Some of the just like most memorable moments were trans kids walking around with their top surgery scars. So many gay couples just like holding hands and being so open about their love, not having to worry about who's watching. There was even a church who had like these signs that said, we're so happy you're here. I know religion, it's like a messy situation a lot of the times with LGBTQIA plus stuff. Um, so that was really nice to see. Anyways, it was an incredible experience. I felt so accepted. So thank you to the community for accepting me in your celebration. I had an amazing time. Okay, um, we'll see what today's thrifting brings. I feel like you never know what you're gonna find. Like I might come home entirely empty handed. I'm gonna bring my, maybe I'll bring my vlog camera. I haven't decided. It'll either be iPhone footage or vlog camera, but I definitely will be uh, vlogging on one of the two. Oh my God. Also, I just got this in the mail today and I haven't even opened it. I got samples of new merch. I'm so excited. I haven't decided if I want to do a full reveal. Tippy Tappy's incoming. Hello, bubbies. I haven't decided if I want to do like a full reveal just in case he makes some changes, but you can see some of the color schemes, some of the font choices. This might be the cutest drop I think I have ever done. Oh my God, McDonald's has a pull apart donut. It literally looks like Timbits stuck together and two of them have called it quits. Oh my God. Oh wait, she feels dense. That was one of the worst things I've ever tasted in my entire life. It was like old, hard, yucky, dense bread. Exactly oh right. man, I had such high hopes for it. She on that fucking keto life. <laughs> Just meat and cheese. Oh my god, vintage. <laughs> vintage Justin Bieber. This would have been my literal dream sweater in high school. I have a picture, I'm gonna pop it on screen, of me wearing a sweater that looks almost identical to this one when I was like, it was like my alt girl phase. Like it wasn't quite like emo. Um, wow, I this is this was my section. This is me in a section right now. I would have thrived. Like this would have been the find of the day. Oh my god. $38? Oh my god, these are like some that's on some Lady Gaga shit. Oh my god. That's an ankle breaker right there. so scared to accidentally bring home something that's cursed like this fucking terrifying cursed literally everywhere you look like in a new direction there's something to oh it's like it's like what's what's that back there there's so much i'm overwhelmed cursed
hello, me hello, Mr. Corn. Hello, 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 sir, Mr. Corn, Mr. Mr. Little Legs, Mr. Little Legs. Is that you? Oh my God, I haven't seen. No, you know what? I have seen. Oh. <laughs> Legs. Go get that floofy chest and the little legs. I fucking love corn. Oh my god, he looks so cute. Corn, I love you so much. Well, I haven't had corn on the vlog in so long. It's been a hot minute. Also, I'm confining the vlog just to Mia's couch because her new apartment is so fucking nice. You'll get uh, an apartment tour when you get an apartment tour. Sooner than later. Yeah, the amount of frames between like today and also the Rose Bowl. <laughs> I'm fucking dead. If you are having a bad day, you are just not anymore. And you can thank Corn for that. <laughs> I can already tell that Bubbies is going to be not happy that I smell like corn. Ugh. Hi, Bubbies. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. We have sourced. We have sourced. Big shake, big shake. Wow, I feel like normally I get home and he is like, bitch, you been cheating. But I feel like it's, it's not so bad. It's not so bad. Are we allowed to be friends with corn as well too? Are we allowed to do, are we allowed to do the pets for the corn as well too? And do the pets? Do the pets? Do the pets? Wow, there was a very big, we can do a quick little replay and you can see, wow! stretch you can see um, the little gap in his front teeth oh my god wow that was just a collapse and your wiener is directly on my hand thank you so much that's so nice wow. you can see the exact little gap where his there's literally a dog for right in the lens um why can't I get this sentence out oh my god you can see the little gap where his two little bottom teeth got pulled oh wow Wow, you're kind of smacking your head on the hardwood. Okay, ow! Wow, that's so good, bubbies. That is so good. That is so good. This is just the bubby show. This is just the bubby show. This is bubby's channel. Ow, ow, ow! Bubbies, you're pushing off me. Done? Okay, thank you so much. Let's go do our antique call. Okay, this was a, honestly, a pretty solid success. Um, we ended up doing just like vintage and antique stores for the most part and although it's definitely much pricier because like they really are like actual antiques and not just like secondhand items. Mia got a bajillion more frames. Um, if you remember we went to the Rose Bowl flea market not too long ago and um, we left, there's four of us, we left all caring about two to three frames for Mia. So her apartment tour is gonna be fucking insane. It looks so good. Our first stop was a vintage store called Iguana Vintage. Iguana Vintage, I think it is. Iguana, I think it's Iguana Vintage. I got this vintage pink Floyd shirt and it's already got like that really nice wear to it. Very similar to a lot of the shirts that I already wear. Uh, got that, that was $18. And that's the only piece of clothing that I got. And then I got five things for the podcast room. The other issue, not so much issue, but thing I've been having to keep in mind is that the shelves are getting mounted to those like dark gray back walls that we have in the pod, like on the pod set. And those are fake walls. They're like set walls. They're kind of just like leaned up against a real wall. So they can't hold a ton of weight. I saw a ton of like really cute glassware, like unique pieces, but I have to be careful with how heavy I do. Okay, so the first thing I got is this vintage camera, uh, a vintage Kodak. So fucking cool. I am obsessed. And again, expensive. This was $75. <sighs> Can you even see through? I wonder if there's like a lens cap situation. I don't know how these work at all, but the, <gasps> oh. Okay, so that's how you take the photo. I feel like I know that from movies, like the, like that's how you take the photo. But I don't know how to open the shutter so that I can see through like whatever 
this would be back here. Anyways, it's just gonna be shelf decor, but I feel like, you know, it was fitting with it being a camera and obviously we have the video version of the pod. The next thing I got was this vintage Earl Grey tea container. Um, this was five bucks. I wish I knew like what year this was from. This looks like actually vintage. Um, it looks like it's been through some shit, some true shit. Uh, so anyways, super light and also very cute. And then I saw this book and gonna be honest, I am, I am, I am literature incompetent. I'm not trying to say that I can't read. I'm a very proficient reader, but I know nothing about literature. This is a Charles Dickens first edition, A Child's History of English. And so gonna be honest, I have no intention of reading this, but I love the character of the book. And it's also a great color scheme to match along with everything I got today, but also like the existing decor. And then I got this vase, 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 vase. Vase, vase. I feel like I need to pick one and just commit to it. We're gonna go with um vase. Got this vase, very cute. This was I think 2040. 40. Um, and again, it's definitely not the lightest, but I loved it and I feel like it just like goes with everything so well, right? Like this and this and the vintage camera. And then this is probably my favorite find. Um, this is a vintage Kentucky bourbon whiskey container. Um, again, I don't know when it's actually from. This is what it looks like. There's also two different sides to choose from in terms of like which one you want to be front facing. I think I like this one. Again, it kind of ties in with some of the other colors a little better. Do we open it? I'm scared to open it. Oh, I wish I knew when this was from. So it's four fifth of a quart of 86 proof bourbon whiskey, a hundred months old, beam, beam. State of Iowa. Oh, okay, this was bought in Iowa. Li liquor certificate. Harold, Harold's Club. Have a drink on me. Pappy Smith. I don't know. I'm scared to open it. Do we think it's good? I bet it's washed out, right? Just smells like vintage and like antiques, nothing weird. That could have been a really bad decision. I thought it was really cool and also a nod to Jeremy going to the University of Kentucky and us just going there. Okay, success. I'm happy with all of my purchases. Oh, this one was $30, which is not too bad again, cause it's like ceramic, but that's the haul. Pretty excited about the things that I got. I also have those few items that I got last time Mia had her massive gold frame haul. Um, so I think those shelves are going up this week so we can see it all come together. The merch is so fucking cute. I was about to end the vlog, but I was like, oh, I feel like, I feel like we gotta do a small reveal because that's just like, that's just like such a tease. And I can't do that to you guys. That's just like, that's actually just mean. It's so fucking cute. I still have to inspect everything like more closely and also do like a really intense try on. Um, but the hoodie, I'll show you the hoodie. I am also still waiting for the sample of the trucker hat. Um, so TBD and I will keep you guys updated on an actual launch date because these are the first samples that I'm seeing. Seeing. Um, so we might have to make a few changes. Hopefully not, but we'll see. But anyways, before I end the vlog, here is the hoodie. It's so cute. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. And then we've got this little guy here. Bitch. So cute. So cute. I'm so happy with it. All right. Well, on that note, I'm going to end the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't joined the Discord already, I will have a link for that in the down bar below. And I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye, guys. Love you.